In today's video, we are talking about why the scale bounces around and it is Halloween here in Australia. So tonight I'll be trick-or-treating, tomorrow I will be three or four pounds heavier and very little of that will be fat. And you're going to understand why in today's video. So basically your scale weight bounces around and there's a lot of noise in your scale weight. But the signal, the amount of fat when you're trying to lose weight that you've got on there goes very slowly. It's the slowest moving component of your scale weight. And I want to explain why. So I've just grown a very simple, simple graph showing what it would look like in theory if you took a thousand calories and you put them on your body or you took them off your body. And if you took a thousand calories and stored them as fat, it will only add about a third of a pound to your weight because fat is extremely energy dense. If you took a thousand calories and stored them as muscle protein, it would add about a pound. And if you took 1,000 calories and stored them as carbohydrates, glycogen, it would add about two pounds to your weight. So like 1,000 calories, 250 grams of carbs, it really fluffs up your body because um, carbohydrates aren't that dense and then they're bonded to like three, three grams of water. So they really fluff you up. And this is the mistake people make when they think that their weight is a perfect reflection of what's going on with their fat mass when really it's, it's not very useful at all. In the short term, the day-to-day -day basis, there's almost no relation. It just bounces around like crazy. Over weeks, then you get a bit more. And over months, it's actually an incredibly useful tool. And all the studies show that people who weigh themselves outperform in weight loss. So we, we shouldn't throw out the scale, but we need to understand it. And this is just one area of it. So understand that there is massive amount of noise. And the faster your scale is moving, the less likely it is to be your fat mass because fat is just so dense. So, you know, people, 1,000 calorie deficit, you you know, you're losing a, a few three ounces. What is that? Three, yeah, three, four ounces a day um, at very best. And and that's why it is kind of grinding down so slowly. So, you know, your, your, your weight, your fat mass is only moving at very best 100 grams a day. Um, but all this other stuff, if it moves fast, if, if I go out tonight, I go Halloween and all this candy and I gain three pounds of weight tomorrow, it's all just water and carbs and stuff like that. And then on top of this, you have hormones so and you have stress and these types of things. They also just general water retention. So just be careful. Don't conflate your weight and your fat mass as perceived equivalents because there is a lot of noise and there's a lot of stuff going on. Hope you enjoyed that.